a card reading so today's reading is how no no who's <laughs> who is entering your life next and what purpose might they play in your life as well okay so we have three groups for you to choose from we have group one two and three if you want to pause the video feel free um but i shall see you using your readings okay okay if you chose the first group in this reading is for you so who is entering your life next and then we'll look into the purpose or the role they might play in your life okay so we have here eight of wands upright um strength card upright seven of pentacles upright and the ace of swords reverse so this is the who all right this seems nice the energy seems nice so far happy about that actually <laughs> okay All right, so who is entering your life next? I do have to say, it feels like this next person who's entering your life, it feels like this person is entering your love life. Um, you know, these two cards, the first two cards, it does feel uh, kind of romantic in nature as opposed to it being, you know, describing who this person is. But anyways, let's do this. So yeah, this person, they could be quite attractive, they could consider themselves quite attractive, or maybe just a lot of other people consider them attractive. You could have an appreciation for their beauty as well. Uh, this person could be very confident. Uh, this is someone who is sexually driven and or they have a very high sex drive. It feels like this person could be coming into your life quite quickly as well. So yeah, for some of you, this person could literally be coming into your life within the next few days. And I'm not saying this for everyone, but if you've been manifesting like a booty call, you know, some, you know, good sex, um, or even like a friends with benefits type of situation, I'm not saying that this is who this person is and this is what they want, but if you've been manifesting that, um, then that's possibly what you could be you know no that's possibly who you who could be entering your life or um what they could be bringing you i do have to say that this is a committed person this is someone who maybe appreciates relationships and long-term commitment as well having that seven of pentacles there but they are careful in regards to who they invest that energy into. And I feel like this person is coming towards you because they are very um, attracted to you, especially sexually attracted to you. So this person entering your life, they could be quite a serious person as well. Yeah, very sexual, very charming. I do feel for some of you to like be cautious that they're not just saying what you want to hear. Um, it could be necessary for a few of you to kind of make it clear that you see through that kind of BS, you know, if this person does, um, you know, try to be, you know, how do I word this? Like if they do try to be a bit manipulative with their words, and I use manipulative for like lack of a better word. I'm not saying this person is manipulative. Ooh. But yeah, this could be someone who likes to have fun. Uh, they could be pushy at times as well. This is someone who takes full advantage of their freedom or they like to take full advantage of their freedom. This could be someone who is heavily desired as well. There could be a few people obsessed with them. So 
So for some of you, this person could love to travel. Or for some of you, if it's not about traveling, this could be that this person is from a similar culture to yours or the same culture. Like you could have similar beliefs. So yeah, the person who's entering your life next, this person could either um, be quite bold or this is just someone who stands out quite naturally. Uh, for some of you, if this resonates, this person could drive um, a nice car. Okay, I'm hearing this for some of you. This person could walk fast. Like this could be a cause and effect type of person. This is someone who does have a strong character. Um, maybe they have a lot of inner strength as well. But I do feel for some of you, this could be um, more so speaking of physically. They could be quite physically strong, you know, regardless of their stature, you know. So, yeah, this could be someone who's quite courageous. Um, I feel like they're quite self-controlled as well. They don't like to let themselves go so easily or they, hmm, is it that they? I just feel like for some of you, this is someone who just likes to present the best uh, version of themselves as opposed to being self-controlled. But yeah, this person could be self-controlled for some of you. This is someone though who is very open to being vulnerable. They could be very much work oriented as well. Very hard working. Could be someone that you have been manifesting. Like this is someone who loves to give gifts. This is a patient man or woman as well. So when you meet this person or currently, um, they could be at a turning point in their lives, you know? where like things are moving faster for them they're kind of achieving you know a lot of success you know whatever success this person has been manifesting for themselves you know even if that looks different from what other people consider to be success um, but yeah this person is at a very important turning point in their life it feels like they're at a very uh, transitional point in their lives as well it just kind of feels like whatever hard work this person has been putting in, it's like they're seeing results to that. So maybe when you meet them, they could be quite, you know, in good energy, you know. So, yeah, this person who's entering your life next, they could be quite optimistic as well. And for some of you, this turning point in their lives, it could be financially. But regardless, it, it just kind of feels like their hard work is paying off. So for some of you, yeah, this person could find it really difficult to approach people like straight away. This person could be a bit closed minded as well or a bit close. Let me see. No, I don't feel like this person's closed off, but for some of you, they could be a bit closed minded. But I, I'm, it, it's not in a way where this person is not open to hearing other people's perspectives and even kind of having their own perspective changed, you know. So this is not someone who's like, you know, ignorant or, uh, you know, stubborn. So yeah, some of you know this person already and you feel as though they may have failed you at some point in your life or maybe in the past. This person could be quite intimidating as well or could be or look hostile in some way, but kind of sexy, you know, <laughs> um, but yeah. So for some of you, this person could be quite cautious uh, in regards to what...
So yeah, for some of you, this person could be cautious of people with bad intentions. So they could be a bit, I don't know if standoffish is the right word, because I don't really feel like this person is necessarily standoffish. It feels like maybe more of a stand back and look kind of energy, as opposed to being completely, you know, like, reserved in a way. Uh, so what is their purpose in your life? So we have here deep emotional healing. So it says your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. All right, so if this is someone that you recognize from your past, then this person, their purpose um, entering your life now could be to heal the connection that you have um, for others of you though if you don't recognize this person then this person's purpose in your life could be to initiate uh, deep emotional healing but for some of you if you feel like you've already been uh, healing especially emotionally this person their purpose could be to not necessarily to test you but to see how far you've come in regards to your healing journey you know like to see if, you know, certain triggers are still there, to see if you're able to kind of better handle, you know, certain situations, to see if maybe you're ready to even um, move into a romantic connection or um, a dive, you know, if this person is not, you know, coming into your romantic life, then to see if you're able to kind of heal from other wounds that you may have or have had in the past. So we also have here increased support, your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to abundance, help and opportunities. So yeah, for some of you, this person could be coming into your life. Maybe their purpose, um, their purpose coming into your life is to make you feel supported or to support you in some way. For some of you though this could be this person kind of putting you on to an opportunity you know whether that be directly or indirectly for some of you for some of you okay only take this if it resonates but this person could be coming into your life um to see if you allow someone to support you and to see if you would tolerate someone who does not support you. So if this person comes into your life and they're not very supportive, although I do feel like this could be someone who is quite supportive, but just a, as an example, uh, say this person comes into your life and they're not supportive and you know for a fact that you need someone who supports you, even if you, you know, you think on, you know, a 3D level that you don't need any support or you don't need any help, then this person is coming into your life to kind of show you that maybe you do need either more supportive people in your life or just not to be so independent, you know, and to maybe rely on someone else. So why is this person coming into your life? What is their purpose? So we have here, purse, wallet, pursue your true wealth. So I feel for some of you, this person is coming into your life to help you align more with your purpose. Um, you know, again, this could be indirectly or directly. So we also have sing the song of your soul and dance your unique rhythm. So for some of you, I'm actually hearing like this person is coming into your life to help you appreciate your uniqueness. Yeah, and you know, if any of you resonate with um, feeling like you can't lead with your authentic self, you know, whether that has been criticized in the past, you feel like you need to protect that side of yourself. Say, for example, you're someone who's actually naturally quite soft um and you know gentle you lead with nothing but good intentions right um but maybe throughout your life you've met people who take advantage of that i feel for some of you um this next person who's coming into your life is just kind of like uh push you or 
to teach you that it's okay to kind of lead with that authentic part of yourself it's like even if you are soft it's like as much as i am soft is as much as i can be an arsehole as well so it's like i feel people may or you know having this person in your life it may be easier to kind of be whoever it is that you want to be without without the bs that could potentially come with it if that makes sense you know For some of you, this could be dressing how you want to dress. You know, maybe you want to dress more provocatively. Pr provocatively, I don't know, you know. Um, and maybe there's certain stigmas that come attached to that. But I feel like this person coming into your life is to help you um, or to push you, you know, indirectly or directly to just not give an F, you know. For some of you, this person is coming into your life with the intention of being honest with you, though. And for some of you, this person is coming into your life to kind of help you find your voice again, indirectly or directly, you know. So, oh, my gosh, we have you are unique and then we have you unique rhythm or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> OK, so for some of you, this person is coming into your life to show you how bloody phenomenal you are being just who you are being your unique and beautiful self you know um so yeah for some of you this person is coming into your life with the purpose of i don't know if this is teaching you you know um but kind of pushing you encouraging you to be your unique self you know so we also have union of love oh my gosh see i knew this had like some sort of romantic undertones for some of you so yeah for some of you this person is coming into your life to be a good partner to you it could be like a union of love you know even if that is just you know i don't know i'm not saying this for everyone even if it is just sharing you know good times good moments you know sharing your bodies with each other maybe as well but yeah this person is coming into your life to to love you <laughs> ten of cups came out to clarify or to show you that you are loved especially when you are being your most authentic self Alright, so these could be messages from this person or more of their purpose in your life, okay? So we have here animalistic, yeah, there's definitely going to be heavy passion, maybe great sex as well for some of you, I'm being honest, like it feels like some very saucy times are coming up for you for sure. <laughs> so we also have here protection, so what is their purpose in your life? I don't know if this will resonate for everyone but this purpose coming this person's purpose coming into your life could be um to protect you from moving too fast uh this could be in regards to work or maybe some other goals you have so yeah for some of you again this could be um indirectly or directly but i feel like this person's purpose coming into your life could be to protect a plan you have for some of you yeah they could be coming in your life as well to protect you So we also have here, don't take it personal. So for some of you, this person's purpose coming into your life is maybe to teach you or to show you not to take certain things um, personally. For some of you, if it resonates, maybe to even kind of show you that some, something that they did wasn't meant to be taken personally by you. So we also have his self-love. So yeah, this person's coming into your life to increase your love of self, okay? 
So we also have here, I'm done. I do have to say that this person coming towards you, they could be quite self-protective as well. Okay, so what is this person's purpose coming into your life? So for some of you, if this resonates, this person is saying to you that they're done chasing money. Um, maybe... For some of you, this person's purpose coming into your life is to help slow you down. Um, you know, if you're super focused on achieving something um, or, you know, your career or improving your finance, or whatever it may be, this person is coming in to kind of slow you down a little bit. And, you know, that could be a good thing or a bad thing for you. I don't know, you know. Um, but yeah. But for some of you, this person is coming in, entering your life, wanting you to know that they're done, maybe chasing uh, superficial or materialistic things. They could be more settled in their lives and they want you to know that they are done um, putting other things first. So we have here dishonesty. second so for some of you this person could be entering your life not being completely transparent with you i'm going to try to see what this could be in regards to This could be in regards to work or not moving on from something or not completely moving on from something. So we also have I want you forever. For some of you, this person is coming into your life to show you that you are deserving or capable of having, you know, long term commitment. And for some of you, this person is entering your life because they do see you as someone. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about forever, you know, but for some of you, that could definitely be the case or very similar where they do want you for a long time or indefinitely, you know, forever. So we also have this shit is not. No, this is not just spirit. My God, this is not just physical. This is spiritual. So yeah, this person is coming into your life with the purpose of having a very strong physical attraction, connection to them, but also having quite a spiritual bond and connection to them as well. So we also have my mind is elsewhere. So I feel for some of you, like, if you recognize who this person is, this person could want you to know that their mind could be elsewhere at this moment. Well, it was in the past, but now they're kind of feeling a bit more focused. I do feel like there could still be some distractions. For some of you, this could be something that they may actually be dishonest with you about. So it's like, I'm kind of coming towards you. I'm telling you, yeah, there's nothing to worry about. There's no distractions. But realistically, there is some distractions. Obviously, it's life, you know. Um, but yeah. So we have I accept you for who you are. So yeah, this person could be coming into your life to accept you for who you are. To show you that you are more than deserving to be accepted for exactly who you are. So we also have I'm so used to flying solo. Oh, by the way, after these messages, I'll get some uh, star signs out and such. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we have, I'm so used to flying solo. Listen, if any of you like resonate with, you know, flying solo, being quite independent, um, then yeah, this person is coming in to, 
um, to show you that you don't maybe need to fly solo all the time or to be very independent or very self-reliant, should I say, all the time. So we also have I masturbate to the four of you. So whomever this person is, I feel like this person is currently like there's a lot of sexual energy there was. Um, honestly, this person is entering your life because they're done fantasizing about you, you know. And yeah, they're done fantasizing about you and they're kind of looking for an opportunity to make that a reality, you know. For one moment. Sorry about that. So yeah, for some of you, another way you could recognize this person is that they could be a bit of an opportunist. Uh, this person could be looking for the right opportunity, though, to approach you, I have to say. Uh, but yeah, that is all I have for you, for those of you who chose this here group. I hope it could resonate, make sense, be helpful. Oh yeah, no, no, signs. Let me get some signs out for you. So this person could be a Taurus, maybe a Gemini, Cancer, maybe a Virgo for some of you as well, a Leo, a Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, and maybe a Scorpio as well. But yeah, that is all I have for you and take care of yourselves okay bye hi if you chose the second group this reading could be for you so who is entering your life next and what is their purpose so we have here four of swords upright ten of swords reversed um the star reversed and the two of wands upright so who is entering your life next okay okay so the person entering your life next could be someone who is perceived as secretive they they maybe are just not completely transparent especially maybe with people that they don't know very well or people who yeah like i feel like this is someone that just wouldn't come right out and you know kind of say what's on their mind like this is someone who may not trust easily this could be someone who seems reserved um they could be very outgoing though actually once you get to know them this is someone who's very calm they could be solitary right now or they could be a solitary person in general for some of you i'm hearing circumstances like, for example, just not a lot of friends or maybe not a lot of family or, you know, they're at a distance from, you know, their close people. Uh, yeah, it just be, could be someone who's a bit solitary at the moment or, yeah. So, yeah, this could be someone who's quite knowledgeable, perhaps about random topics. This person's vibe could be very calming or relaxing as well. This person could be an overthinker, though. Like this person could make, this this could be someone who makes people feel zen. Maybe this person even does it for a living for some of you guys. So this could be someone who does eat unhealthily though. Uh, yeah, so where were we? Okay. So yeah, this person could be busy. They could have a lot going on in their life. This could be someone who's quite anxious or, um, you know, they have anxiety from time to time. This could be someone who's recovering from past situations in life as well. This could, person could be currently overcoming, you know, certain challenges um, you know, trauma, past trauma, or maybe even a loss for some of you. But I do have to say it does seem like this is someone who is currently healing with 
um, healing from these situations as opposed to you know living in these situations or reliving these situations this feels like someone who's actively trying to um, move past you know certain challenges or traumas they may have faced So yeah, this person could have quite a healing energy as well. <laughs> so yeah, for some of you, this could this could be someone who likes a good gossip, but it doesn't feel malicious. So yeah, for, for, unfortunately, this could be someone who has experienced a lot of betrayal in their lives. Um, despite that, they could still be... Do you know how it's like after experience, betrayal after betrayal after betrayal? It's like some people com could completely shut down, close off, be nothing but defensive. But I feel for this person, don't get me wrong, they don't trust easily, but they still have trust, you know, despite all of the bad things that and betrayals that they may have been through. And, um, you know, I feel like they still have a certain level of trust to them. Bless them. So yeah, the, the, I don't know, this could be when you meet this person or, you know, they just... Okay, so this person who's entering your life, they could be exhausted, they could be drained or have tired eyes. Like, this could be a reoccurring theme for them where they kind of just get, you know, tired quite often. Um, that actually reminds me. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so they could be someone who gets tired quite often or maybe they just seem quite drained. Or when you meet them, they may seem exhausted. So when this person does enter your life, they could be in a helpless energy. Or they're kind of just experiencing a phase in their life where they do feel a bit helpless. For some of you, this could be someone who may not have faith or... They may not believe in a higher power. Like this is someone who has been through a lot in life. So I'm hearing for some of you, this person could be mundane. I'm not saying this person is boring at all because it doesn't feel like this person is boring. But their life could be a bit mundane, if that makes sense. Like, for example, this person could actually perceive their life as a bit boring at this moment, you know? Not that this person is a boring individual. So for some of you, this could be someone who's just uninspired at the moment. And I don't feel like this is in a way where it's like lacking motivation, but more so not seeing like maybe not having a positive outlook you know and not being inspired by positive things that are coming towards me you know hmm. okay so i'm hearing for some of you like this could be someone who is wallowing a little bit um, well, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't know this person's life, but it feels like for some of you, this feels like something they could change. It's like, at the moment, they just may not be inspired to change. It's like, if my life is boring, I realise it's boring, it's driving me crazy that my life is boring at the moment, but I'm not inspired to change that, or I'm not inspired, or I don't see a way I can change that, or what you know, what is it will inspire me? What is it that will make my life a bit less boring? I feel for some of you, this person could be in that energy anyways. <laughs> uh, so yeah. For some of you, it only takes this if it resonates, but this could be someone who disappointed you, um, maybe disappointed you by focusing on their priorities or other priorities outside of you. So yeah, this could be someone who is traumatized or they have unfortunately been traumatized in some way, um, either currently or they're still kind of working through it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this could be someone who's quite logical, uh, but very creative. 
for some of you i'm hearing like this person could be an immigrant or maybe their parents were immigrants um or they had to leave their home country or they had to leave their ch uh, childhood home or childhood home or their family um quite early in life But I don't really get that for a lot of you though. So yeah, this could be someone who's also restless at times as well. And I feel like this person entering your life could happen actually quite quickly, but I feel this is natural. It feels like by circumstance as opposed to, you know, this person actively trying to, you know, chip away and kind of enter your life so for some of you this person next person entering your life could be someone you work with or will work with this person could be a bit ignorant as well a bit close-minded unfortunately for some of you, this person could be very spontaneous, they love adventure, and this person could actually be a lot of fun, but I feel like maybe the energy when you meet them, or just their energy at this moment in time, um, could just be a bit, honestly, a bit depressing, you know? So yeah, this person, they could be a Gemini, Aries, Leo, a Sag, or a Scorpio. So now we're going to see how this person may impact your life. Do you know what? I was going to say, like, because I said for the first group, it definitely feels like this person is entering your love life. And I and I actually felt it for this group. But I thought, no, nah, I'm not going to say anything just in case, you know, for some people it is more so platonic. But yeah, for some of you, this person uh, is entering your love life. For some of you, maybe, you know, if it's not directly entering your love life, maybe... what. maybe they kind of you know push you towards the you know i would say the right one or you know new love if that resonates for you like this person's presence in your life could push you towards romance you know whether that be romance with them or someone else like for example for some of you i'm hearing like they could end up hooking you up with a friend So yeah, they could have an impact on your love life without being the main theme of your love life, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah. So we also have clearing negativity. It says release negativity from within or around you. Oh. <sighs> All right, the easiest way to explain this card is that this person's purpose in your life is for you both to maybe help each other. So we also have ceremony, honour how far you've come. What is this person's purpose in your life? So for some of you, if you resonate with knowing this person already, um, this person could be coming into your life with the purpose of showing you how far they've come in their journey. For some of you, the, this person's purpose for coming into your life is just to kind of show you your own growth in certain areas of your life. I do have to say with ceremony being there and having it confirmed, I feel for some of you, this person could be coming into your life to either, you know, push you towards a serious commitment or to offer you a serious commitment or to help you align to it. So we also have colour, express your true feelings. So what is this person's purpose in your life? So for some of you, this person, when they do approach you, when they do enter your life, they're entering your life with the purpose of um, communicating with you, expressing how they feel to you, being honest with you as well, and being quite expressive. For 
for some of you this person's purpose coming into your life is to make you feel safe also expressing your own true feelings too so we have here beyond the ego so what is this person's purpose in your life So for some of you, this person's purpose in your life is to help you to surrender to a more natural flow in life. Uh, like say, for example, you're someone who's always rushing. This person's coming into your life um, to teach you to kind of slow down and rushing is just a bit, you know, unnecessary. <laughs> um, or maybe to even, you know, uh, arrange your time a bit better so that you don't have to rush. Or kind of just allowing things to flow as it may, you know, and surrendering. So yeah, for some of you, this person could be coming in with that purpose. For others of you, this person could be coming in to help you, um, you know, move past your ego. You know, whether this be indirectly or directly, maybe this person's presence in your life helps you overcome some blockage in terms of your ego. Or maybe it helps you develop a more healthy ego in regards to certain things. And we also have time to play. Yay. Okay. So this person could be coming into your life to have some fun with you. You know, I feel like maybe both of you need it or both of you deserve it. Um, for some of you, this person could be coming into your life to kind of show you uh, the importance of actually making time to have fun making time to focus on yourself um, and you know the things that you find enjoyable do you know i actually feel that you may help this person <clears throat> step into a more playful energy as well you know Yeah, so this person's purpose in your life could be to teach you, you know, again, indirectly or directly to not take certain things too serious. Yeah, and to go to flow a wee bit. So what is this person's purpose in your life or any messages from this person? So we have here your skin looks like silk. So yeah, this person entering your life next, they could be quite touchy, feely, like they could like to touch, like hold hands, stroke a cheek, you know, they could just be very touchy, you know. <laughs> For some of you, this person's purpose in your life could be to make you feel a bit more beautiful or to appreciate you know, certain things that you may consider flaws. For some of you, this person actually could be, only take this if it resonates though, but this person could be, their purpose coming into your life could be to help you appreciate your skin a bit more or to love your skin. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean, you know? Um, but yeah, <coughs> excuse me. So we also have, I've done things I'm not proud of. So I'm hearing that this this could be someone who has changed their life dramatically. This person could have been someone in the past where, you know, they weren't proud of who they were. They weren't maybe proud of who they, what they achieved um, or who they were as a person, maybe how they treated people, um, you know, maybe even in term, terms of their actions. But I feel like, yeah, this person just kind of is coming through this reading wanting you to know is that they're not the same person that they used to be and that they maybe had to learn a lot of harsh lessons, maybe even due to their own behaviour. So we also have affection. So what is that purpose coming into your life? <laughs> to give you love and affection, and then the lover's card upright came out to clarify. Yes, yeah, so for some of you, this person is coming into your life to give you affection. And if you're not even, um, if this doesn't resonate for you, like in a romantic sense, 
this could be just a friend who's very affectionate a friend that makes you feel very loved makes you feel very seen and maybe this this friend is very you know touchy-feely i know yeah well yeah <laughs> and nurturing maybe as well so we also have i can't be there for you the way i want to or the way you need me to All right, so for some of you, I really do feel for, um, that this person in question could be in this energy where they don't feel like they can be there for you the way they want to be there for you, the way you require someone to be there for you as well. But I do have to say that this person's purpose in your life could also be to teach you patience. And I'm not saying be patient with this person, like, honestly, don't do anything that doesn't align with your intuition, you know. Um, but yeah, this this person could... Their purpose could be to teach you patience maybe patience in relationships maybe slowing things down going with the flow a bit more instead of being quite serious and you know so we also have i'm still thinking of the little things you did and said So for some of you, the person who's coming into your life, they could actually hold this sentiment. Maybe, you know, if this is someone that you already know from your past or someone, you know, maybe even a, an acquaintance, someone that you just don't have a strong bond or friendship relationship with yet. But yeah, this person, they want you to know that they are thinking of the little moments and the little conversations that you've both shared. But for some of you, I feel this person's purpose coming into your life could be to um you know help you appreciate the little things or finding more little things to appreciate you know so we also have i wish i had said something sooner yeah so whomever this person is for some of you maybe in the past they didn't feel like they could be there for you the way they wanted to be there for you um but this person i feel like when they come towards you they're going to be more willing to you know express themselves because I feel like they definitely regret not doing that in the past. Yeah, this is definitely someone who regrets not saying something to you sooner. So we also have you are stronger than you give yourself credit for. So yeah, for some of you, this person's purpose coming into your life is to kind of show you how strong you are and maybe even to kind of give you, you know, credit where credit's due, you know, and it's like, I'm not even trying to gas you up. I'm not trying to, you know, blow smoke up your butt, but I kind of just want you to know how amazing you actually are. So for some of you, this person's coming into your life um, to kind of teach you to kind of give yourself more credit for everything that you actually achieve um you know whether it be small like honestly even if it's making your bed or washing the dishes even if it's a small thing like that like this is someone who's going to make you feel proud um or their purpose coming into your life you know whether this be indirectly or directly maybe it's i don't really get this energy but i'm just as an as an example like this could be someone who doesn't validate you but you know in that behavior it teaches you that i don't need you to validate validate me i validate myself right but for some of you i feel like this is actually someone who would want to not necessarily validate you um but to kind of give you that extra you know boost like shit you're actually doing a good job you know so we also have i tell my family and friends about you Um, so yeah, for some of you, this is someone who is actually currently telling their close people about you. Do you know what I'm actually hearing for some of you? Like, this person is coming into your life to be maybe a lover and a friend to you. That's what it feels like. So we also have hell motherfucking yes. I feel like whenever this person enters your life, I feel like they're going to be very excited to enter your life or they're going to be very excited about you. 
for some of you this person could be entering your life to get you excited though for some of you it is to like create certainty for you like it will give you clarity this person entering your life will give you clarity like for okay like as an example i don't know necessarily who i want as a romantic partner i don't know you know what traits i want in a romantic partner what values yada yada and this person comes in and they kind of give you clarity like oh, okay this is what i'm looking for that is definitely not what i'm looking for you know so for some of you um this that's what this person's purpose is coming into your life is to give you clarity and again this could be in regards to something else this could be in regards to like work <laughs> two of pentacles came out to un um to clarify or you know responsibilities you know being more authentic being more vocal i don't know but yeah I just feel like this person is coming into your life to kind of give <laughs> do, you, do you know when someone like kind of gasses you up um and then you you know you just feel like you can do anything you know i feel like this is like that's the energy this person is coming with um for some of you and it may not even be intentionally like i'm not intentionally trying to gas you up i'm just telling you the truth you know so we also have his shadow work So for some of you, this person's purpose in your life could be for you to do some shadow work. Whenever I used to see the Four of Cups, like when I, especially when I was just starting out doing tarot, that was always the card for like shadow work for me, you know, because yeah, anyways, what were we even talking about? Yeah, so for some of you, this person could be current, coming into your life to encourage, you know, some shadow work. But for some of you, it could actually be to help each other or maybe you help this person. But you know with the six of pentacles upright i feel like this could be like a positive exchange you know instead of being like do you know how some people like say for example energy vampires like i feel this person could be you know easily categorized as an en energy vampire actually i don't really feel like that's true um but maybe through this reading some people could think that but i don't feel like this is someone who is an energy vampire like, this is not someone who would just try to drain you with their own problems and, you know, stuff like that. But this is someone who is probably still working through some of their shadows, you know? So we also have instant connection. So for some of you, this person who's entering your life next could actually be someone you had an instant connection with or have. And finally, we have, I'm not really sure what love is or what it's supposed to feel like. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the world card actually jumped out, but the Ten of Cups came out to clarify. So for some of you, this person's purpose in your life is maybe to show you what love feels like or, you know, to show you a healthy relationship or a healthy connection and that is what i'm manifesting for you guys <laughs> if you want that of course you know um but yeah so yeah this person's purpose coming into your life it could be to make you feel loved like say for you know five of cups came up to clarify it. if for example you're someone who you know you're focusing on you know lost love for example i feel um I can't remember what I was going to say, but I hate when this happens. Yeah, this person could be in inspire you to kind of focus on the other three cups that you have. No, sorry. Change cards. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> that is all I have for you, though. Or to feel even more optimistic about love, you know, even if it's not with them. It could just give you that little push, you know, if that, if that resonates a bit more. Uh, but yeah, that is all I have for you though, for those of you who chose this group. I hope it could resonate, I hope it can make sense for you, but I'm wishing you all the absolute best, okay? Please take care of yourselves. Bye. Hi, if you chose the third group in this reading, oops, could be for you. So who is entering your life next and what is their purpose in your life, which we'll look at after your tarot cards, okay? So... Who is entering your life next? So we... Oh, shit. Sorry. Excuse my language. Sorry. We have the death card upright. We have devil reversed. We have moon reversed. Like, three major arcana as well. So 
whomever's coming into your life next they're coming in to make a big impact it feels like for sure um or maybe this person is just a big personality their energy is very intense and finally we have the ten of wands okay so who is coming into your life next and for why Okay, so who is entering your life next? This could be someone who is going to transform your life in some way or someone who maybe did transform your life maybe in the recent past or the past. Um, for some of you, if this is more so like a, a near future energy, then this could be someone who is going to transform your career or your work or your relationships. This could be, you know, indirectly or directly um this person they could be very spiritual or they could be very religious um this is someone who wants a new beginning with you though and perhaps vice versa you could want a new beginning with this person too this could be someone who has maybe beautiful eyes to you um maybe to, to a lot of people or they could have quite intense eyes or eye contact with people or with you this person could be perceived as stubborn or maybe in the past they were seen as stubborn. So yeah, this could be someone who is outspoken. I don't feel like this is all the time. This could be more so on a when they need to be type of situation. This is someone who they don't mind deep conversations or, you know, deep topics. Or they may not even mind topics that could be a bit dark as well. So only take this if it resonates, but this is someone who is no longer misogynistic. Or this is someone who is, you know, working on, you know, those parts of themselves if they are a bit misogynistic in some way. This could be someone who's very sensual, um, very seductive as well. I feel like whoever this person is, they're definitely perceived as very attractive, whether that be, you know, by you or a lot of other people, even though I do feel like it is by, you know, quite a few people find this person um, attractive. Maybe, you know, people even find that they have a magnetic kind of energy or aura to them. So yeah, this person, they may not be the biggest fan of change, but I do feel like they handle change very well. Um, this could be someone who believes in life after death. They may even believe in past lives as well. Um, this person, they could be very compassionate. Uh, they could want to provide you with comfort as well. Or this person is just a comforting person you know, whether they intend to be or not, their energy or, you know, whatever it may be could be quite comforting in some way. Um, okay, so yeah, this person could be very independent, someone who is maybe overcoming addictions as well, or maybe has a history of addiction. You know, whether that be alcoholism, whether it be, you know, food, porn, or I don't know, you know, but um, yeah, this person is definitely someone who is overcoming addictions at the moment, if not already overcome them. But, you know, with addictions, it's, it's like a lifelong journey, isn't it? So, yeah. So this person who is entering your life next, this is someone people get really obsessed over quite easily as well. This could be someone who likes to give people their freedom or it could be the other way around where they kind of prefer if people kind of give them their freedom. For some of you, this could be in a way where it's just like, I don't like to feel suffocated. For some of you, this is more so an energy of like, I just prefer to be able to do what I want when I want. But I feel like whomever this person is, even though they're maybe a bit rough around the edges, it sounds like, but it feels like whoever this person is, they are someone who is actively trying to become better or do better. 
um, or you know become more self-aware or this person is definitely growing in terms of their self-awareness for sure so yeah this person who's coming into your life next they could be materialistic um like they could just have a lot of nice possessions or you know wear like name brand clothing and stuff like that it's like if you were to look at them you would think not necessarily that they're materialistic but um you know they care <laughs> about that kind of stuff so yeah this could be someone who has a lot of intrusive thoughts um, but this person, they may not actually see it as a negative. They may just kind of see it as a part of who they are. Like, I, this is not someone who acts on those intrusive thoughts either. You know, they're just intrusive thoughts. Not just intrusive thoughts, but I know that can be very upsetting for some people. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person just kind of accepts it as who they are or a part of who they are. This is someone who has a lot of willpower as well. Um, they may not be 100% into traditional commitment. Uh, they could prefer romantic detachment. Maybe in the past they preferred romantic detachment. This person could wear a lot of dark colours, maybe in terms of their clothing, or maybe they have like really dark features, like maybe dark hair, um, maybe beautiful dark eyes. Um, I'm hearing like thick eyelashes even for some of you guys. I'm actually hearing like maybe even dark blue eyes as opposed to like the lighter colored eyes or, you know. But anyways, yeah, this person definitely has very beautiful eyes. Do you know what I've actually noticed with Capricorn men? Like I can almost always tell a Capricorn guy because of their eyes. Like they have like really beautiful eyes but maybe not you know typically beautiful eyes i don't know um but yeah they have very beautiful eyes um especially their eyelashes are super thick just in my perspective my perception and what i've noticed anyway um but random moment over moving on <laughs> so this could be someone who is in who is in control of themselves maybe they like to be seen as serious or their appearance or their appearance is quite serious this could be someone who is insecure about their potential. Maybe they feel like they haven't really reached uh, their, you know, full potential yet. This is someone who is risky, um, maybe quite rebellious as well, a bit crazy, <laughs> you know. Uh, this could be someone who's very emotional, uh, sensitive, very intuitive, maybe even borderline psychic, you know. Um, but yeah, this is someone who is quite supportive. They are very helpful, you know, maybe not to, you know, anybody, but, you know, maybe to their close people, their friends, their family. Um, but I do feel for some of you, this is someone that you may have completed a cycle with. Yeah, so for some of you, this could be someone that maybe you felt like they were taking you for granted or maybe someone that you even felt restricted by. For some of you, this is someone who does take people or certain things for granted, you know? For some of you, maybe even intentionally. Uh, but yeah, this person, they could be an Aries, Cancer, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Libra, Leo, Pisces, and Capricorn. Is that all signs? Did I say all signs? No, I didn't. I don't think I said Scorpio. Or Sagittarius so yeah so what is this person's purpose in your life so we have so we have here divine life purpose trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment so for some of you this person's purpose in your life is to maybe align you with your life purpose for some of you i feel like they they might actually have a, a direct impact on um your life purpose 
So we also have revealing your true self. Allow, as you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. So what is their purpose in your life? So for some of you, yeah, this person's purpose in your life is to maybe help you reveal your true self or to live more authentically um, and true to who you are. So we also have here, dog, be your own best friend. For some of you, this person's purpose in, in your life is to teach you to trust yourself a bit more, trust your intuition, trust the signs as well. So we also have his school, examine your beliefs about being tested. Ugh. Sorry, I didn't mean to make that sound. <laughs> oh. So I'm hearing like this person's purpose in your life is to see if you have learnt a lesson. Okay, I'm going to see if I can clarify that, clarify that for some of you. Learn a lesson in regards to... So for some of you, this lesson could be in regards to being patient, not rushing something, trusting your perspective as well. Um, I I'm hearing for some of you, maybe in regards to your mental health and how certain things and people, situations affect, impact your mental health and maybe have you learn lessons surrounding that. So we also have here turn over a new page, let love lead the way to change. So yeah, I feel like whomever this person is, they're definitely coming in to your life to help you turn over a new leaf in some way, in some way. To help you transition or to help you transform. But it's almost like leaving one part of your life behind and completely embarking on a new journey. And I feel for some of you, this person is coming into your life to kind of initiate that journey or initiate that change for you. And we also have here, trust your gut feeling, let your heart lead you to who you are. Yeah, so for some of you, this person, uh, their purpose upon entering your life is for you to learn to trust yourself, trust your gut feeling, trust the signs, trust your intuition, you know, whatever it may be. So we also have, is it bad that I've never made love? So for some of you, they could be coming in to impact your love life, uh, especially if it has been maybe a while since someone has entered your love life. Uh, Six of Cups came out to clarify that. For some of you, it could be someone from your past, but you know, if you're not trying to manifest that, I'm not trying to manifest that for you either, <laughs> you know? But if you are, Two of Cups fell out, just random. But um, yeah. For some of you, they may even come towards you with like the energy of, um, you know, I'm not looking for something serious or like, you know, I'm, you know, I don't really know how to interact accordingly or whatever it may be when it comes to love and relationships. So, um, but I feel like this person will impact your life because of the change or the development that they will show, especially if you have known this person from the past, it's like they're coming in with a new energy, um, maybe more open to love. But for some of you, maybe not saying that you help this person become more open to love, but it could happen quite naturally. Anyways, moving on. So we also have here Balls Deep. So for some of you, look, only take this effort resonates with any of you are like trying to get some trying to get some head not joking if any of you are trying to um you know have sex or um you know you kind of need to fulfill that 
for yourself. For some of you, you know, that's this person's purpose. So we also have I'm a little distracted right now. So whomever this person is, they could be, I want to say at a distance or definitely distracted by other things at the moment. So we also have you are so fudging sexy. So this is someone who definitely finds you sexy. So this could be someone who's coming in to make you feel incredibly sexy. Well, for, I feel for some of you, this, this is definitely someone who's very, very attractive. So we also have, I'm not sure. So I feel for some of you, this person who's coming into your life next, they may not know exactly what they want moving forward. They could be, I, I don't feel like saying going with the flow is even the right term. For some of you, this person could be uncertain about what you want from them. So we also have why so serious. So yeah, this person could be impacting your life to help you become less serious. Or for some of you, I feel like this could be just someone who is perceived as quite serious. So we also have you are too good for me. So for some of you, this person's purpose coming into your life could be to show you or to help you realize that you deserve better, you know, whether this be in regards to the relationships, friendships, family, work. Um, yeah, this person is coming in to kind of align you with what is maybe the best for you, you know, and, you know, this could be directly or indirectly. For some of you, if you recognize who this person is, especially from a past energy, they definitely view you as someone who is a bit too good for them. So we also have, I'm so comfortable around you. So yeah, this could be someone who you feel comfortable with or when they enter your life, you'll feel very comfortable with this person. We have, are you ashamed of me as well? So whomever this person is, this could be someone who currently thinks that you are ashamed of them. For some of you, this person could be entering your life to kind of remove feelings of shame or feeling like uh, embarrassing to, to someone else or in regards to something specific about yourself. Like, say, for example, my scars. My scars are not something I'm ashamed of, by the way. I just have to throw that out there. But, you know, it's something... It's like if this person was coming to my life, then maybe they will help me not feel that way, even though I don't feel that way. But maybe, you know, ego boost or a little boost in your confidence in some way. But yeah. So yeah, for some of you, this could even be in regards to your independence. If you do consider yourself quite independent, if you've been single for a while and to kind of show you that it's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. So we also have here, is it worth it? One second, I'm going to have to turn this off because I'm running out of memory and I don't want it to cut off. One second, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. So who's entering your life next? Is it worth it? For some of you, this person is coming in your life um, to teach you discernment. This doesn't feel like directly teaching you discernment, maybe kind of learning to rely on your own discernment. For some of you, this person is coming into your life just to see, it's like, it feels like just, not saying this person is just another option, but for some of you, this person is coming into your life almost to show you an option, okay? It's like, you can have this, you can have this, you can have this, but for some of you, this person is coming into your life to kind of um, show you or kind of ask yourself, like, is that even what I want, you know? So, yeah. We also have, it looks like I'm paying attention, but really I'm mapping out your nakedness in my mind. What is this person's um, purpose in their life?
So for some of you, I'm actually hearing <laughs> Knight of Wands at the bottom, that this person, their purpose coming into your life is to show you that you are special, for someone to just be attentive towards you for a while, you know, make you feel a little bit beautiful. <laughs> For some of you, this person is coming into your life with the purpose, not not saying they have the intention to, you know, distract you, but they could be coming into your life to distract you from something. And again, this could be, you know, a pivotal moment for you where you're kind of like, am I going to allow this thing to distract me? Or, you know, this is actually quite a beautiful distraction right now. So for some of you, this person is coming into your life to kind of discern what one of those would kind of be better for you, you know? And finally, we have opposites attract, okay. So why is this person coming into your life? So for some of you, this person could be simply coming into your life because you guys are attracting each other energetically. Um, take that a thousand if you, if you recognize this energy, take that a thousand if you kind of consider yourselves opposites, you know um but yeah so for some of you this person it feels like they're coming into your life to kind of get you thinking in some way you know uh but yeah that is all i have for you though for those of you who chose this here group i hope it could resonate make sense for you be helpful i guess in some way but i'm wishing you all the absolute best on your journeys all right please take care of yourselves bye